Uh, Mubarak, how are you, bro? I'm cool, brother. Good, good, good. Are you a Muslim? No, I've converted already. You converted the other day to Christianity? Yeah. Wow, God bless you, man. Yeah. What made thanks. what made you what made you leave Islam? Oh, so many reasons. I don't know. I don't know which one to pick. I don't know which one to start with. Okay, let me start somewhere. Yeah, pick pick the like the first thing that comes to your mind. What's the first thing? Okay. Uh the first thing that happened was uh was my encounter with the Holy Spirit. I was uh mm. I came for my Subi prayer. Mm -hmm. And when I came for my super prayer, I had this thought because I was an extremist. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. And I'm being an extremist, we're out there to actually fight the cold war, which I can boldly say is a cold, mm -hmm. but then we believe we're fighting for God. So one day, the thought started, I was just rebooking it, I was to be lying in the Shaitan region because the thought was about how sure are you that this struggle that you are ready to offer your life for, because then they were calling me Abul Barra because I was so serious. So mm -hmm. he said, how sure are you you're going to be at the paradise that you are thought you're going to be? So when that thought came, I first of all rebooked it, you know, I was like, I would be lying in a shaitan right there. Where is this thought coming from? So, after a month, so I went for my subi prayer. The same thing came up again. And uh, <laughs> this one was, I was actually prostrating for prayer. And the thought, the John 3, 16 came first. Mm -hmm. But God so loved the world and gave his only begotten son. That whosoever mm -hmm. believeth in him should not perish. That's the attraction. Should mm -hmm. not perish. Amen. So, that attraction was, uh, my, I was praying actually, but, but I was not there. I was trying to meditate. What, what did I just hear? Should not perish. And all my struggle and everything is based on, majorly is based on one scripture. Mm -hmm. in, the, in, in the Quran, it's just based on one scripture. So, you know, and I, I was trying to compare the, the two scriptures. I said, what? Why am I even reasoning from the Bible? I started again. I was with like the Shaitan region. It's just like, I tried to like, <laughs> book it again, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, why am I even reasoning? Why must I be thinking, comparing Bible and the Quran? Yeah. Am I stupid? I'm a Muslim, you know? So the thoughts keep flashing, keep coming every day, like, just like tormenting me. You will perish. Because that's what that verse is actually saying. If you don't believe, you will perish. Yeah. Man, I was like, okay. And I asked somebody for a Bible. I said, please, can you give me a Bible? He gave me, and I started reading that place over and over and over. I was like, ah. I went back, I picked my Quran again. I started reading. I was looking at what, what, what chapter was I, was I actually holding on to. Well, just, it's sort to soft switch. Basically, was saying, Yeah, you are Lezina Amon Hala, do look on my latu jarat in Tunjukum and Azabun Alim. So, you see, mm -hmm. that Azabun Alim is equivalent to what the, the Bible is saying that you should not perish if you believe. So, you know, I was trying to like, okay, this one is saying, if you believe, you will not perish. Mm -hmm. It will take you away from the great punishment of God. Mm -hmm. Why this one is saying, if you believe in Christ, you're not going to perish, but you'll be safe. I was like, I was actually yeah. thrown off. I was frustrated. I was confused. <laughs> I was thrown off completely. And you know, it's not something that you're going to open your mouth to like, kind of meet one imam. Man, your own is gone, especially because of the cause I was. I cannot dare open my mouth to say that to anyone. Yeah. So I, I bottled it and I saw a pastor. I wanted to ask him, I said, no, this pastor will take advantage of me because I was troubled. I kept quiet. You know, so let me cut it short. I actually suffer from this trauma of these scriptures for complete three years. I was like, man, I was off balance. I was just praying. And according to the setting of Islamic way, if you have any waswasi of Satan in your mind and you're praying, you don't have a prayer. Mm -hmm. So all those why I was just I was just doing, you know, for doing sake. 
for yeah. people to just see like, yes, I was praying, but actually I was trouble. So one wow. day I woke up, I said, look, you know what? You know what? I just have to, I just have to tell myself the truth. I have only one life to live and I don't give a damn about what anybody will say is between me and God. I say, okay, first I talk to myself. I say, if God spoke to Prophet Muhammad, if God spoke to Jacob, if God spoke to Moses, if God spoke all to the, all these people, that means they are human beings. That means God can speak. He's not dummy. He's not a stone that cannot speak. I say, God, me and you speak to me. So for the first time in my life, I went for three days dry fasting. So I started, I was praying, I was praying, I said, God, you know my heart, what I'm fasting, what I'm praying for is just to seek you. I continue praying, praying until the fourth day of my dry fasting, because I was actually scared, because I was not hungry actually, but because I was, I didn't have the experience, I was kind of scared, I was like, ah, don't go and die, you know, so <laughs> I have to stop somewhere. So at the end of the day, to cut the whole story short, that night was the night of my visitation. Wow. Now, as a, as a terrorist, you know, we, we the, in that vision, what I saw was they were announcing that our group in Tali should be killed. Anywhere they see us, there's nothing like they're taking you to, 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 to custody for investigation. Just anywhere you see them killed. So that was the announcement they were actually announcing spiritually. So I was running helter skelter looking for a place like kind of height. Then... Finally, I was caught. So when I was caught in that vision, we were caught, two of us actually. I know the brother. So we were caught and they asked us to say our last prayer because God men have given order that we should be killed. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, to be killed. I just say, I shadow Allah, 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 I shadow no Muhammad Rasulullah. So one of the officers now turned back and looked at me and said, bro, that's not your last prayer. You better say your last prayer before you, you're gonna be killed today. It's like, ah, I don't understand. That's my last prayer. He said, bro, say your last prayer. Then he left. Immediately when he left, I had a whisper. Clearly, if you believe in the name of Yeshua, popularly known, Jesus, you're going to be safe. I said, Yeshua. I started, even from the vision, for you to know how we have been doctrinated, I started, I was be live in the Shetan I was be live in the Shetan I was, You know, I was like kind of rebooking it. That thought cannot be here. So, yeah. immediately... I had a voice again the second time. I said, okay, you know what? Why not try it? Well, what's wrong about trying? Why don't you just try it? Mm -hmm. So in that vision, I tried. Hey, brother, I was taken up just like the bet. I flew away from, in fact, let me just say out of the country entirely. I was taken off far away <laughs> and I would drop somewhere. And in that vision, I was asked to go to church. I look at little kids who are going to church and say, church, you know. Now, to cut this whole short, I didn't know the meaning of this vision was actually going to manifest physically. Because even when I wake up, still, I forgot, I went on three days dry fast and I was begging God for that. I still rebooked. I would be like, I still went to my prayer. But at afternoon, I had a voice, very clear. I thought you pray. I thought you went on three day, three to four days dry fasting just for you to see God. What was the message? What did you get in that your vision? Yeah. I said, no, I'm not be a Christian, man. Yeah. Christian. No, 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 no. I used to fight against these people. Why should I? No, mm. that's not gonna happen. So I was just imagining seeing myself in the church with Christian brothers praising God and like, ah, man, I can't do that. So I began to struggle. I was battling with myself. Finally, I picked the courage. But one thing that all my family knew is I have the courage. If I decide I want to do something, I do it. I don't yeah. want to look back. So I picked the courage and I went and I stood. When I stood in the church, everybody was looking at me because they knew me. I was actually a bad guy. So everybody knew me. So I stood there. I was looking at them. They were looking at me. So they were praying, just praising God. It's like, after everything, you know, they share, they say, let's share the grace, with the grace of our Lord Jesus, blah, blah. I was just like, okay, that's all. That's what we're going to be doing here. So there's nothing serious here. This guy just came here, just make some noise. He said, they are praising God. Is that all? 
There's nothing exciting about it. There's nothing like, you know, you recite the Quran. You know, sometimes when you're reciting Quran, you'll be crying and all those stuff. So there's nothing of such, you know, here. This is funny. I can't do that here. So you cut the whole story short again. Brother, I went back to Islam. The first time, second time, third time. So until finally the Holy Spirit gave me an assignment to read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. But at first... Because he doesn't want me to be discouraged. He didn't show me like I was going to read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Just say, why don't you just read the Bible from Genesis? I just started, you know. The grace was there to study more, more, more. As I was studying more, I was now seeing every practice that we were practicing was actually <laughs> was the Old Testament. So if you check my old Bible, damn, it was a lot of Islam, just writing, writing, writing inside. Like, ah, this is what we do in Islam. Mm -hmm. Okay, this was this. So this one was actually from here. This one was picked from here. You know, the whole thing was a documentation of the Old Testament that was just a little bit to reshape and repackage and be given in Islam. So wow. So by the time I moved to the New Testament, fulfillment of the prophecies, which I've seen, which you cannot see it in the Quran, I begin to see the fulfillment of those prophecies was Christ. actually fulfilled in Christ. Beautiful. That is when my mind was blown up. Bro, mm -hmm. immediately I picked my microphone and megaphone and started preaching. I was on fire. <laughs> Amen. I was actually on fire. Amen, started amen. spreading the good news preaching i give glory to god at least more than 200 plus gave their life to christ so amen. i am out for him i've been haunted because of the former group i belong of to course, of you course. know they are, they are affiliated they are affiliated with al-qaeda so and all those stuff so you know yeah oh well, brother I was uh, you I was you have you have our prayers man your your testimony is beautiful and and, and um i normally don't do this but I, I wanted to ask you, you know, why you left Islam and to let you give your testimony to bring glory to God, because it's going to be encouragement um, and assurance that it gives others who are thinking about leaving Islam or struggling with doubts, trying to suppress all of that stuff. It's good to hear the testimony of those who have gotten a breakthrough by the power of the Holy Spirit. So thank you so much for sharing that, my brother. I appreciate it. Thanks for Thank sharing you. that. Wow. Glory to God. We, we praise God for you, man. Um, yeah. So keep it up. Keep going strong. And all of us, we're praying for you, brother. We're all praying for you. Thank you, sir. All right. God bless you, brother.